Hi all, welcome back to Soul's Journey, and I'm going to do an unboxing here tonight. I've got uh, the new Orion's Tarot from Ambisun. It was a Kickstarter project that I backed, and it arrived uh, a couple of days ago, and I haven't had a chance to... I've looked through the deck, but um, I haven't had a chance to do a video of it. So hopefully this will work tonight. I have not had good luck doing videos this weekend. I've had to delete two, and it's really starting to make me crabby. So, let's hope this goes well. So here's the pretty box. Get it to focus here. It's kind of hard to... Oh, there we go. I think it's pronounced Oriens. I'm not entirely sure. Um, you can see it's very dark purpley color. The pretty, like, compass design. And back see if we can get this to show up so you can read it maybe not kind of sorta so the Orion's tarot deck is an animal themed card deck that reflects nature through mythical and ethereal means allowing you to spiritually connect with the universe and yourself through the exquisite art of divination Orion's tarot.com so it's one of these nice boxes opens like a book and let's see if we can get this to focus. Kind of, sort of. It's, it's hard to read because it's the gold. It says, this deck is made in gratitude and dedicated to my stars that guide me in the dark. And list a bunch of people. And this one's really hard to see. May the stars guide you in dark. Believe it or not, that's what it says. Okay, whatever. Um, and also, everybody got one of these nifty reading cloths. So, whoops, we're all right. Yep. It's quite large. It's got this beautiful design on it that echoes the box. It's a dark blue background, so let's go ahead and use that. Let's see how they show up on that. You know, I'm going to kick on one more light because this deck is so dark, it doesn't really photograph very well. Hang on. All right, well, not sure how much that helped, but... Come on. All right. So anyway, so it's got the silver holographic edging all around. You can see, very pretty. So... Ooh, looks like a baby turtle coming out of its shell. Magician. Not quite sure. I see the wand and the sword, but I'm still kind of trying to figure out what the cup is supposed to be, if it's got all the elements there. There's a PDF booklet that uh, we were given a link to download. And, um, there is also a printed book that backers could order, which I don't have, um, but I may go ahead and get it. This is actually, seems to be showing the colors pretty well, at least through the lens of my camera here. This one just does not want to... It's so dark. I brought my little flashlight over because I was afraid I was going to need it. You can see there's more on the card than is showing up. It's very hard to photograph this thing. Lovers, a pair of seahorses, I think.
It's a nice justice card. I like the way the the scales almost like mimic the owl's eyes. It's kind of cool. Should have used a nut hatch. I don't know what kind of bird this is, but I just I see nut hatches on my back deck all the time, and they just love hanging upside down. They're just little screwballs. That's another one that's kind of hard to photograph. Very dark. I think you can kind of see it. So I don't, you know, quite understand all the the choices of the animals depicted. Um, but I think I downloaded the book, but I haven't actually had a chance to look at it yet. Devil, I forget what this is. Yeah. It's very pretty, but jellyfish is not my favorite. Kind of an interesting choice for the star. This is why I bought the deck. I saw this on the Kickstarter page and I just fell in love with this image. Just love that moon. Judgment's got the trumpet flowers, angel trumpet, they're called. That I did recognize. World. It's, oh my goodness. Yeah, you can kind of see the colors there. Crazy, we gotta pull out your flashlight to look at the card. Do the test. Oh, yeah, see a little bit there, I think. No, it's not coming through. Emperor penguins, I believe they mate for life. guys look like they're having a good time. Look like a couple of little lambs there. I think. A narwhal. I think that's a giant squid. And poodle? I think they're foxes. Some kind of school of fish. Okay, snails are fine as long as they stay out of my house. I was battling them all last spring. They were getting in and leaving snail trails all over my living room carpet. Oh yes, it was disgusting. Ooh, 
this one really is very dark. I don't think the flashlight's going to help much here. Uh, especially not this flashlight. It's definitely got issues. Dragonfly. Blue Jays. The art is beautiful. No idea. Peacock, of course. It's the Six of Wands. Interesting. A tardigrade. If you guys have watched the new Cosmos series that came out a couple of years back, there was a, an episode that was almost entirely about tardigrades. Little microscopic animals. Stay. Ten of Wands. I don't know. Beaver looks to be in his element there. If you've ever seen a beaver dam, they don't mind a few sticks. They are a okay. So red panda, I think. I'm assuming this is a bottlenose dolphin, but I'm not really up on dolphin species. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, hmm, I'm not entirely sure, King of Wands, Leo, a Lion, Ace of Pentacles, Little Green Frog, I love frogs. Bird of Paradise plant. When I lived in California, they were everywhere. People have them in their yards, just outdoors, outside. Gorgeous, really striking plants. Ants, I hope. Sure, if that's an armadillo, I think it's an armadillo. Correct me if I'm wrong, and you know better. Polar bear, some kind of bear. Six of Pentacles look like prairie dogs. Lovely raven on the Seven of Pentacles. I'm not sure what kind of bird that is. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, black kitty cat. I think that's a blue whale. Or, um, sorry, not a blue whale. Sperm whale, I think. Ugh, I don't know. I should know, and I don't. Page of Pentacles. What do we got there? Oh, little grasshopper. I don't know. 
Knight of Pentacles, little bumblebee. I think that's a llama. Hard to tell if it's a llama or an alpaca. I'm not sure. They look so much alike. You can see there's some like rays behind it, the bowl. Oh. There we go. these out of the way real quick. Okay. Use of swords. Another very dark one that's hard to see. It's like a two of swords. It's like a betta fish. Three of swords. I'm not sure what kind of bird that is. Three toed sloth on the four of swords. Stingray or a manta ray. I think that's... I'm not quite sure. Maybe a lantern fish. I'm not sure. What is that? Oh, uh, okay. spider. Blech. I know I shouldn't grimace at spiders, but... They still just kind of creep me out. Some kind of little embryo there. I'm assuming that's a millipede or a centipede. I guess I should have gone through the book first to find out why some of these animals were chosen for the particular cards. Everybody knows cockatoos. I think that is a type of hummingbird, but I'm not entirely sure. A crow for the King of Swords. So, there we go. It's a standard size deck. Um, card stock is good. Wait, I don't. I forget if it's 350. Let me check real quick. Okay, so according to the Kickstarter page, it is 330 GSM cardstock, German premium black core, and anti-scruff matte finish. All right then. So yeah, it'll shuffle nicely. It's definitely not sticky. It doesn't have that super sticky, glossy coating. Although I did get an excellent tip on what to do with glossy cards. Hang on. Okay. Turtle Tarot Journey website. I was on her, her page the other day, her, uh, her YouTube page, and she has a video up of how to spray the cards with a matte finish um, 
like spray coating and if your cards are super glossy it gives them a nice matte finish so that they don't stick all together and um, so you know what I'll, I'll put a link to her her page down below because um, I had never heard of anybody doing that before so I'll, uh, I'll let you guys check it out for yourselves and see what you think and if it's something you think you want to attempt oh yeah shuffles beautifully so yeah very cool tip so I just wanted to pass that along and credit where credit's due and all that and I think she said she saw it on a Facebook page and the person had recommended Krylon or something but she tried something else so anyway go check that out if that's a an issue for you Ah, huh, nice the star I don't know how I keep doing that I keep pulling the star and when I do these single card pulls so thanks for watching and I'm gonna try to get up another video for the new moon I have a new moon spread I wanted to do so thanks again for watching and I will talk to you soon. Blessed be.